Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-month check-in for January 2024. Thank you as always to everyone who watches, likes, shares, comments on the videos and subscribes to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, see the info in the description box. So um, just to let you know, if you, if you follow the channel or if you're familiar with the channel, you might have noticed some changes to the schedule of how I've been putting the readings out um, recently. It's just because I've had to adapt things um, to get the best balance that I can with doing the readings and everything else that I've got to do in life as well. But anyway, let's get into your reading. So these are the from the Oracle decks I'm going to be using for the reading today. We're going to begin with a message from the African Goddess Riding, Rising Oracle deck. And that will be like your main theme. So the messages are for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. So what do we need to know for mid-month January? For Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising, please. Let's see what's going on with you. Right, so I will take... God, is it this one again? Wow, this one keeps on coming out for everybody, I swear to God. I'm going to try that again, actually, because that was a bit of a mess of cards so yeah you did get the seven sisters creativity one harvest i've been saying that there is a very strong manifestation type energy around because you're my well, where are we nine ninth reading um ninth reading ninth yeah ninth reading so far i've done a lot over the past couple of days um for the monthlies and yeah there's a, most of them have had a strong manifestation theme but anyway or something connected to manifestation. Let's try that again. So Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising, what do you need to know for? There we go, mid-month January, right, feeling safe, okay. So you have Tichiba, feeling safe. This is one of my favorite cards out of the deck, actually. Um, I mean, I don't know, there's nothing particularly special about it, but I don't know, just, maybe I can just connect with it. And funnily enough, I've noticed with some of the Oracle decks that come out, they really, allow some a lot of the numbers to be in tune with the message because number four um the fourth house um in astrology or fourth sign is um cancer and cancer is it's it's about security and feeling safe as well so let's have a look and, and well actually let's get your oracle cards out sorry tarot cards out first you are my first reading of the day i haven't had that much coffee today so bear with me um, let's get your tarot cards out and then I'll read the message from the book for you. So for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising, what is the main theme? Or what else do we need to know about the main theme? We've got the Six of Cups there. Uh, past energies around this. Right, we have, which way, we'll take it that way. You've got the Eight of Swords and the Devil. Wow, that looks like a bid for freedom, that does, with the Eight of Swords and the Devil. I feel like this theme may have come up for Taurus at some point, several months ago or a few months ago, about a, something about a bid for freedom. And this, I feel like they probably got this, these cards, possibly, or the energy similar anyway. Um, current or present energy. Current or present energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising, please. Oh, that's too many. I mean, I'll have a look at them, but um, that is a lot. So you, it would have been the Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. That's too many. So we'll try that again. Seven of Swords is back. That I really wanted to be there. And potential future energies. We have the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. This may be a bit of a protective kind of energy, but I'll get, get through the reading and then we'll see where we are by the end of it. Let's have a look. So we have Tichiba feeling safe. So it's the, she's the goddess of feeling safe. Hopefully that's not blurred. It is hard for me to tell on the screen at the minute. Um, air energy. Great ancestress Tichiba was an enslaved Caribbean woman who was the first person accused in the 1692 Salem witch trials. She was most likely kidnapped from the Guyana region in South America and then sold through a Barbados plantation. 
Tichiba's guidance says it is finally safe to be you. You have wandered through a dark night. Your trip has been long. There is light ahead. Your liberation is apparent. There is an escape vibe here, I'll be honest with you, because obviously I said there, there's like a bid for freedom. And then the Seven of Swords, one of the meanings, it can, for me, be about an escape plan. But anyway, it says, the embodiment says you deserve to feel secure. Feeling safe is knowing that your basic needs are met. Feeling safe is feeling at home in your body. Feeling safe is trusting your journey. Feeling safe is feeling free around those you love. Feeling safe is trusting that the sun will rise again. If you grew up emotionally, spiritually or physically unsafe, reset your default expectations to a healthier vibration. And the goddess declaration says, I am safe, it is safe to be safe. So, I mean, we do have a reference to the past here with that six of cups, but let's get the um, clarifiers out. Do I have the right deck here? No, I don't. As I said, it's the first reading of the day. It's very early. I haven't had my coffee. Well, enough coffee yet. <laughs> but yeah, Six of Cups. Let's have a look at that. So that's like part of the main theme or focal point. What do we need to know about that? What do we need to know about the Six of Cups? That was really quick. We have the Magician. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the six of ones. Let me get something for that two of ones on its own, first of all. Anything else? Try that again. Let's come back out, the Six of Swords. What else have we got? Oh, it's come, the same cards have come back out. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles, the Star, and the Six of Swords. There's a few messages coming up here. Um, so specifically in relation to the past and probably more so distant past, than recent past. I mean, it could be recent past for some, but I'm going to say it's more distant past. Um, there is a there is something here for someone where there may have been a lot of restrictions um, in the past with you trying to achieve your goals, be, becoming independent, trying to achieve your dreams, being successful, power even, restrictions in terms of power. Um, someone may have had a lot to may have a lot to overcome in terms of that or has had a lot to overcome in terms of as i say their power independence freedom success etc the thing that makes me think restriction is that two of ones there um because obviously you've got the magician there which is it's it is about power isn't it? it's using your power to create You've got on the other end, you've got the six of ones, which is about success. Um, there can be other meanings as well. And I probably will look at that on its own, too. Um, but with that two of ones in the middle, that's where you are able to make the choices and make your plans. That to me feels like restrict restriction. And the, what is the restriction from? As I say, nine of pentacles. Well, part of nine, the nine of pentacles is part of it is security, isn't it? Um, it feels more like security, independence, that sort of thing. The star, obviously, that's your dreams. You've got the six of swords. I'm going to get one after that. That, that to me, because of the type of energies that have come out and that Tichiba feeling safe thing, um, it's that feeling safe thing that's connected to that six of swords and escape type energy. Let's get something after that and see what, what comes up. So that's why I'm saying somebody might have overcome a lot or have a lot to overcome in terms of achieving what they what they want and what they need in life. Let's get another one after that Ace of Swords. Yeah, someone may have had to escape something from their past or they have escaped something from their past for, for things to become very clear for them in life and for them to be able to stand in their power. Um, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Let's look at the Magician on its own.
We've got the Hierophant, okay. I mean, that can be the restrictions, possibly. Restrictions, Four of Pentacles, yeah. Um, so, like, there may have been sort of a... I don't even know if it's a power struggle. For some, it may be a power struggle. Struggle. For some, it may, may be more about, and I'm still referring to the past now, authority figures, um, whether it is parents, um, school, the government um, or governmental institutions, um, but anything that would have restricted you, that it's like a struggle. I'm, I'm getting a struggle there um, for someone. I don't know if anyone's ever been in foster care and had to overcome stuff relating to that. Let's look at the six of ones. Uh, no, that is far too many, that is. I mean, I feel like I will keep the five of cups because, as I said, it's overcoming, isn't it? With it For me, with it being in reverse with the six of ones, it's overcoming um, or the need to overcome challenges and, and pain and hurt and disappointments and those kind of energies. Let's get one more for that. Four of ones, yeah, building a more secure foundation, a safer foundation. Somebody, as I say, somebody's either had to do that a long time ago or even if it's not long that long ago or they're having to do that to to build up a better sense of security and safety for themselves so i'll leave that there because i know i've um, spent a bit of time on that and we will look at the past energy which to me the past energy is the same as i said it was like a bid for freedom but we'll see what else we get in there with that as well and where it takes us like what's the point what's the relevance now I mean, obviously, if it's for someone who needs to overcome the challenges to feel safe and gather their own sense of security, that is the point. But if you've already done that, then let's just, um, it's, it's, there's something, there's a reason, I guess, why it's coming back up, isn't it? I'm just trying to think mentally. So obviously we're, well, but, but when you watch this or when the video comes out, it will be, you were still in Capricorn season. I'm just trying to think mentally um, what, the, what house we're dealing with at the minute with Capricorn for you with Capricorn season. Bear with me one moment. Okay, so hopefully I'm, I've calculated it correctly, but I think that Capricorn, like in like general day-to-day -day astrology, not, not your individual birth chart, if you wanna look at that individually, and you may wanna do that because it might make sense, help things to make sense. Um, there's a link in the description box for your specific birth chart, but for like general day-to-day -day astrology, um, I believe Capricorn is your fifth house. Um, and that, what is, what is that about? That can be to do with children, which six of cups, it can connect to children, um, romance, creativity, fun, enjoyment. Um, someone may not have had much enjoyment in their childhood and because they didn't feel safe. If you didn't have a safe, secure environment, then it's going to be pretty damn hard to have fun and enjoy life. So they, as I say, there could be something coming up with now in that in order to, um, sort of have that more enjoyable, experience in life there's there's a need for a safer more secure environment foundation etc but anyway let's put these away and get into that past energy again more because we've kind of already done some of it so eight of swords and the devil i mean as i say it looks like being freed from restrictions fears toxic environments even but let's see let's see what comes up Yeah, I feel like this one needs to be first, though. Well, that's interesting. I was talking about fun um, and the enjoy enjoyment in life. And the Three of Cups is, I mean, yes, it is a card of support but it is and community, but it is a card of enjoyment, celebration as well, isn't it? And you've got the Wheel of Fortune before that. What else is going to come up for this? Let's see. Three of Pentacles. Wow. And then we've got a card of freedom here with the fool yeah so this looks like somebody's had to free themselves okay yeah somebody's had to free themselves somebody may have even um
yeah I'm just gonna say it because it's there um if anybody's been like incarcerated or been in any kind of institution or anything like that like um hospitalized like mental health stuff like that that could represent um something to do with that as well being freed from that that's coming to mind it's coming up so strongly I can't lie I'm trying to like avoid it and yeah but it's it's coming up so there might be something there um where somebody's kind of been really, you know, like when people are released into the community after being institutionalised for a long time, something like that may be coming up as well. Um, and if that has happened to someone, then it would have been an opportunity for them to sort of, well, change everything for a start. There's the freedom there with the fool, establish a support ne network and collaborations with people to sort of build a, a newer foundation, a stronger foundation, or should I say more secure and safe foundation. Let's have a look at that three of cups on its own. So we have the two of pentacles, the seven of swords. Let's get one more for that. It just, it feels, I mean, yes, there's the enjoyment side of it for sure with the three of cups. Like if you're freeing yourself from toxic energies and restrictions it does hopefully free you up to enjoy life more but it's also about the support network as well supporting you in managing um whatever it is that you need to manage to build a, a safer or more secure foundation in your life six of cups let's get one more because the six of cups is almost like a cliffhanger sometimes that one first that one first that's that looks to me like almost building a, a person building themselves back up as well like having getting the support once things change excuse me and someone's free freed it's like having the support network to build themselves back up and and overcome whatever's gone on in the past um queen of wands that would be putting you putting yourself back out there being able to shine your light confidence queen of cups any emotions that you've that have come about because of the restrictions in whatever capacity they are um it's been able to deal with that as well um and as i say if so if it's if someone hasn't already overcome all of this then it's there's a need in this reading for that to happen because you want to have that sense of inner security and emotional security um, let's look at the Three of Pentacles. I mean, that for me, if, if I know the Three of Pentacles is usually about collaboration, but collaboration is is a form of practical support as well, isn't it? So we've got the King of Wands in reverse again. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse again. again. It's really a strong sense of someone kind of having or needing um, having in the past or needing that support to kind of build themselves back up it, it's that's just what I'm getting let's look at the fool on its own so king of wands again I mean that's stepping back into your power needing to to build that back up the knight of pentacles it's um stability stability consistency that sort of energy let's look at the fool here and I don't know if if this isn't you, I don't know if you're, I mean, we'll see how we get along further with it, but it could be someone close to you where it directly impacts your life. Um, for some, it could be that you're going into a job role or some sort of voluntary or community role that does this for people, that helps people. You might be working with offenders or something. Um, so, you know, like the probation service, social services, those kind of things, you could be assisting people to do this. And that, that if it's not you, that could be what's coming up. Or if it's not a professional thing, it's, as I say, someone close to you, a child, a parent, a sibling, a friend, etc. I'll just, so I'm just going to be referring it as to as, as someone rather than you specifically in case it isn't you, but we'll see. Right. So yeah, freedom. And then again, it's, there's a lot of cards in reverse here um and they weren't put in the deck in reverse so it's as i say it's all like building this back up whatever's in reverse it's like building it back up or gaining stability with it we've got the hierophant again five of cups wow yeah it, this the fall here as I say it is freedom with the ten of cups it's it's having the freedom to gain that happiness back and overcome the um 
sadness is one emotion that comes to mind that was caused by these res restrictions and whatever whatever's gone on in the past because as I say Hierophant Four of Pentacles for me it feels like restriction and specifically within there's something relating to institutions as well as I say and even if it's not as serious as like um mental health inst being institutionalized because of mental health or prison or anything like that or relating to social services it could even be something to do with a university where somebody's had a issues with a university or education and restrictions um in terms of that i mean it could you could say in a job as well if it's in, if it's an in institution but yeah right let's leave that there and let's look at your current energy So the current energy is the Seven of Swords. So we're going to see what comes up for that. I mean, there is a possibility here that someone still doesn't feel safe in whatever you're involved in, whatever's restricted you or is restricting you. Yeah, there's a, there's a possibility that someone... Oh, God. Um, sorry, I know that sounds bad when I say, oh, God, but I don't know. I'm getting... I, I am getting a thing as well. Um, if anybody's experienced domestic violence... Um, that might be something that's relevant here. That could be the, that devil kind of energy. I don't know if somebody's trying to escape that as well. That's a possibility too, because I mean, that is something that would affect your power, your confidence, your security, your safety too. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just say it because it's coming up as well about witness protection. And I know that can sound pretty dramatic, but um, I used to work for the probation service actually, and there were people... Um, that dealt with the service that were in witness protection. So that's a possibility for someone as well. Okay. Right, let's look at the Seven of Swords. Um, so we've got the Seven of Cups. Sorry, there's just stuff coming into my head and I'm kind of debating whether to say or not. I mean, I've already said witness protection and domestic violence, so... Yeah, the stuff around that could be relevant for someone here. Similar situations to that could be relevant for someone here. I've already mentioned defenders, so I don't know if somebody has a... Uh, yeah, I already mentioned institutionalised or incarcerated. So if someone has committed crimes in the past, you know, there could be um, there could be stuff around that where you, need, you somebody might feel like they need to escape. I don't necessarily mean from prison, but... You know, like if you have a past where you were involved with those sort of things, um, whether it was by choice or whether you were coerced, it's like a need to, somebody might feel a need to escape that as well. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, somebody could be kind of hiding out from someone, to be honest, I don't, and it can vary what the reasons are for trying to hide out from someone, but that's a possibility as well. Um, Seven of Swords, let's see. The Tower. somebody could be feeling scared here um that's just a message in itself that somebody could be feeling scared if they if you're trying to evade or hide out or something so we're clarifying the seven of swords in the current energy right okay Right. Well, first of all, that King of Pentacles, that can be the energy that that someone if, if someone's trying to get, gain a greater sense of security and safety, this is the energy that you want, whether it is literally you or a person that can assist you. Um, but that's the energy you want. You want stability, security and long term as well, not just temporary. Um, like, you know, like if I said someone was on the run, I think I said if someone was on the run, you don't want that. You want you want to be safe enough to kind of and it doesn't mean that you have to stay in one place but to feel safe wherever you are um i get with the two of swords and the two of pentacles that someone doesn't know what to do um let's have a look at the seven of cups and the tower this is a really i'll be honest it's a pretty intense kind of energy and for some it could be something very very simple like it could even be just as simple as mental health but not not even to do with being institutionalized just like general mental health um 
like that can make someone feel unsafe and insecure because it's a complex thing to deal with it's like your mind is constantly um lying to you and playing tricks on you isn't it so you don't know what to do um seven of cups let's have a look at that four of swords As I say, the, I think the strongest energy I got from that Seven of Swords was escape. That was the strongest energy. Um, do I get lies and deceit? Not, not so much. I mean, it could be, but not so much, to be honest. Um, and I've said before as well, the Seven of Swords for me can feel like a risk. But yeah, it feels, it could be a risk to you, but it really feels, it feels a lot like escape. I mean, yes, it could be a risk because if you wanted to take a risk, you'd want to know to do anything. Um, you kind of want to end up being secure. Um, that King of Pentacles energy, as I said, feeling safe and secure, even if you take a risk at the end of it, you want to feel safe and secure. So that can be a reason why someone doesn't know what to do. But let's um, let's continue, Four of Swords. I mean, Seven of Cups, it's considering options, opportunities. You've got the Four of Swords, which I've said can be about deep contemplation as well. Um, but also that Four of Swords energy, if someone is hiding out for whatever reason, it can be that as well. But it's temporary, isn't it? That Four of Swords energy, it's temporary. Let's see, let's see what's happening here. Let's see what else is happening. Um, the lovers. Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Right, so that lovers card for me here, it feels it feels more like it's about choice. Um rather than like connecting with that, you know, and I'd sometimes say, oh, connecting with what you love. Um Obviously, for anyone where there is something where they're wanting to take a risk to do something, then yeah, maybe for them it is about choosing what you love. But it, fe it just feels mainly just like choice. The Six of Pentacles and Page of Cups energy, it's a pro it feels like a protective or a need for protection. The Page of Cups, I've said before, can be like a vulnerable energy. You've got the Six of Pentacles here. That can be... It is generosity, it can be charity, it can be balance. And I feel like the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups together, it's like where someone is vulnerable and they need help, they need support. Um, it's giving me that kind of energy. So for me, the choice is, it's almost like wondering what choice is, um, oh, how would I put it? What choice is going to take care of you the most? And I know that's a really weird way to put it, but that's how it's, that's how it's coming up. Okay, let's look at the tower because that's a, a big deal, isn't it? The tower. Yeah, what, cho what choice is going to give you that King of Pentacles energy or a, whether it is a literal person, which obviously the um, court cards are usually people, whether it's going to make you feel like that or whether there is somebody around you that can offer that. Um, Death and the Eight of Wands came up. I'm going to try that again. I think that was probably right to be honest, but I'm going to try it again because I was talking too much as usual. The tower. Right, there we go. Right, the Knight of Wands. The Hermit. Eight of Swords and the King of Wands. So the tower often indicates um, something quite dramatic and it can be about change. It feel it just feels like something very dramatic. And I did give quite a few dramatic examples um, about what's going on here with the seven of cups there. Again, I said that really feels very much like choice. So he got the energy of escape under there with the seven of swords, um, as I said, as well. Um, with the tower there, something very dramatic could have happened and it calls for you to choose and decide what the next best step is. Um, I feel like there's something about maturity here with that Knight of Wands and then going to the King of Wands. It's a need that whatever choice you make now or whatever step you need, you take, it needs to be very mature. 
Um, I mean, the hermit, it's, you can consider the hermit to be very mature. I always say the hermit looks like they're about 100 years old. They've, they've gained a lot of wisdom. And there's something about being very intentional here with that king of wands. Um, so again, power power related and very whatever choice you make it's very very intentional like it's not it wouldn't be a frivolous um kind of like do I want to say thinking on the spot but like um I don't, know, I don't know if the right word is irrational rash like a rash decision it would be very intentional um I don't know how else to say that to be honest so you've got the eight of swords energy again where again it's the energy of needing to be freed from something um but to, to, to escape this or to free yourself from this, as I say, it needs to be very intentional and it needs to it needs to have a very mature approach. I mean, the King of Pentacles is very, it's a very mature energy as well, isn't it? Let's move these here. Um, let's look at the, let's get one for the Two of Swords and one for the Two of Pentacles. As I said, it's almost like not knowing what to do. Yeah, being conflicted. The moon is not knowing what to do. Um two of pentacles let's have a quick and, and I mean that's physically trying to for me that's physically trying to figure out what to do isn't it the two of swords is mentally thinking about it but two of pentacles is the physical side of things as well so we've got escape energy again with that six of swords not knowing what to do to escape from this or to free yourself from something and that's where you would want to escape towards safety wouldn't you Got the four of cups, yeah. It's a stuck energy again of not knowing what to do. Maybe not even knowing what you can trust as well. If even if you are offered assistance, then there, there might be a possibility of thinking or whatever decision you you contem decisions you're contemplating. Yeah, not knowing what to trust with that. Yep, seven of swords, seven of pentacles, not knowing what to trust or, yeah. Again, what the best action is. Oh, this is um, it is a bit complex to be honest. It is a bit complex and I know it's not, it's probably not as specific as it could be, but obviously it's a general reading. So I'll give, as I say, I'll give examples, but if it's general, it's going to be different for people, for different people. Right. So I said, I believe I said at the beginning that that King of Swords and Ace of Cups energy came up as protective, um, which it still is a possibility. It feels like it could be very supportive as well, highly supportive. But let's see whether that is you or it almost feels like it could be someone else, to be honest. But let's see. Um, let's see what comes up for that. So potential future energy. Let me just shuffle the deck. And even if it, this is just something as simple as, as choosing a new job because your old job was toxic like a toxic environment or something again you would want to feel safe and secure in in a new job wouldn't you you wouldn't want to make a rush decision and sort of jump out of the frying pan into the fire you want to choose something that's safe in terms of the environment um the people you work with literal safety like some people work in a physically unsafe environment where they can get injured um if you want something permanent, you, you need that to feel secure, you know, the pay, benefits, stuff like that. But let's look at the King of Swords and Ace of Cups. There is a thing here as well with that King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Whatever decisions you need to make to, to escape, to free yourself, to, you know, whatever it is. Um, bring in logic and emotion into it as well. So that they work hand in hand. Right, let's look at the King of Swords and Ace of Cups. Try that again. Well, do I want to try it again? I will keep that actually. Six of Pentacles. I mean, that is about balance. It, again, you've got that. It, there is the possibility that this is someone else um, supporting pr and protecting you. Um, but you've got the Six of Pentacles. So as I say, it's a balanced energy. Um, it is an energy of support, being supported. Anything else for that? Page of Wands in reverse. So I'll probably look at that on its own because it's odd. The Ace of Wands. Okay, yeah, I was going to bloody say it and I should have said it before it came out. I was going to say, I think the reason the Page of Wands and Ace of Wands are in reverse is because whatever the choice, whatever choice is made, it needs to be well thought out. And then the King of Swords 
double shows up again. Like as much as you can bring the feelings into it too, like feelings of protecting and nurturing yourself and whoever else is, is involved that needs to be protected and kept safe, um, it still needs to be well thought out too. So what do I want to look at? Let's look at that King of Swords on its own. Um, but this is potential future energy, so I guess it's like a heads up of guidance on how to approach the situation, really. Right, the lovers. Choice again. There's just lots of stuff about choice in here. Nine of Swords. And Nine of Swords is where you feel insecure, so yes, you, you do want to turn that rat around, don't you? Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. That queen of ones is just making me feel like um, it's where your needs are met, making sure that your needs are being met. And then obviously you've got the ten of cups there. So emotional, emotional security is the thing that comes to mind with that. And if there's because it's ten of the ten of cups, it's usually shared. So whoever else is involved, that everybody's emotional um, security is taken into account as well. The lovers, again, it just kind of feels like choice, but it's it's kind of. Although, could we say there's no wrong or right choice? It depends on the circumstance, really, doesn't it? But making the best choice, again, the best choice for you, making sure your needs are being met. This King of Swords feels more... I know that this, the one under here, feels like there's the possibility of it being another person, but this one feels like you, to be honest. This literally feels like, even if, the, even if there's, like, double King of Swords, like you, there's someone you come across in in whatever way whether it's through an organization or a friend or whatever they have king of swords energy it's like it almost rubs off on you and then you become king of swords as well um to be able to make a decision but as i say it, you you'll know whether the king of swords this one the original one here whether that's you or someone else but as i say that one feels more like you let's have a quick look at the six of pentacles support Empress, she's very supporting, loving, nurturing, caring. So again, that could be an external source of um of help to help you be in your King of Swords energy. Judgment and the Temperance card. It all just feels purely like support, to be honest. The judgment card, it can be about second chances. So if it's almost like you're, you're having a ch second chance at life or something in life, it's just having that supportive energy. Even temperance. I mean, if you believe in guardian angels, guides, whatever, you may you, you could consider this um, as, as that kind of energy, that guardian energy, um, guardian angel, spiritual team type energy. And if you are someone that likes to talk to guides and angels and, and whoever else you believe in, then... You may want to do that to ask for help because um, I am kind of getting with that judgment. I mean, I've often said judgment is can be about answering, answering the call, usually to do with like spiritual awakenings and stuff. But here, I would say if you have, if you're someone that likes to pray or, as I say, talk to your spiritual team or whatever, go for it. Ask for help um, because that might be useful and. You may, it may could be a physical person as well. Like you might have, um, you might seek spiritual advice from a somebody who's involved in spiritual practices as well. But yeah, um, so overall, as a potential future energy, it's it's needing to to get into that King of Swords energy with the the um, Ace of Cups to make the best decision. So the logic, the emotion, making sure that you choose the best decision for you, asking for help if you need to whether it's from a physical person, organisation or spiritual team. Um, let's get you some final advice. God, that was that felt quite, I don't know, intense. Feel free to leave your comments about that because if you want to, because obviously if you're trying to hide out or escape something, you, you might not want to kind of be put any business out there. As I say, um, if anybody ever wants to share anything, and they feel like they don't want to put their business on them um, the, in the comment section. You are welcome to email me. Um, my email address is in the description box if you feel like you want to share something privately. So let's get you a final card of advice from the Witch's Kitchen um, Oracle deck. I have no idea what I'm going to call this. Well, no, I will actually. It's going to be something around safety and security, isn't it? Right, final advice for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's 
Nope. That was like four cards or five cards. Final message for Virgo. Sun, moon and rising, please. Right, we have this one, sleep. Lavender, I'm going to get you one more. I've been doing this in the readings where sometimes it feels like more is needed. I mean... I think the one thing I can say about this sleep card is if you've been re if you've been trying to make a difficult decision, you've been trying to escape something, etc. As I've talked about through the whole reading, you might have trouble sleeping. To be honest, and who wouldn't? Because that is bloody stressful. Um, but more than anything, I think with this sleep card, um, a a big part of it, and I love is that lavender in the card. I'm not good with identifying flowers, but it kind of looks similar to the lavender. Can you see the purple in there as well? Um, it's peace. Do you know what I mean? Like once you get that feeling of safety and security, then you can your mind can rest and relax um, because lavender is strongly associated with relaxation, isn't it? But let's see what else comes up. And it will give you tips on using lavender in the actual card. So if you are into aromatherapy, you may want to um, use that to help you as well. Amethyst is um, helpful for that as well, for relaxation. And it's purple too. So, And also, what else do I have here? Moonstone. Is supposed to be good for helping with emotional balance and chalcedony. Yeah, blue chalcedony can be helpful with that as well. Right, that literally fired itself across the room. <laughs> Bear with me one minute. All right, hang on a second. So we have chili pepper as well. So sleep and chili pepper. I will read these. I know your reading is longer than the others, but it is what it is. There's a, there was a lot of shit going on in this, so you needed it, right? Chili pepper, ferocity, or oh, yeah. So lavender, first of all, says, as a responsible magical practitioner, it's better to light candles instead of burning them at both ends. Late nights, parties and work or home commitments have taken their toll on you, and the luggage under your eyes is living proof of sleepless nights. So do yourself a favour and get an early night. My scent is blessed with properties to relieve you of insomnia and to induce deep sleep. Even though sleep is important for your well-being on all levels, you may need to call on me to lend you a helping hand in other ways. I have a soothing reputation as a natural alternative to help you relax, unwind and to let go of stress. So place me under a pillow or dab a few drops of essential oil onto your temples before bed and you will nod off in no time. Groggy mornings will soon be a thing of the past as you awaken refreshed and more vigorous. Sweet dreams. Um, so we're going to look at chili pepper as well. So it says... Tap into that, un well, this is going to be about freedom, isn't it, <laughs> this part? Tap into that untamed primordial behaviour you have been suppressing. Your savage side screams for you to be raw and restrained and to acknowledge your most vehement instincts. Never apologise for being assertive or for stri striking out to achieve what you want. So, yeah, making sure that your needs have been met. You have permission to be as brutal to be as brutal, to be brutal as you focus on your desires and goals. For the only way to beat the competition and to win right now is to be ruthless. Known as Demon Spice, I will spice up your life and my intense, powerful pungency. Sorry, with my intense, powerful pungency. Fights, arguments and violence challenge your emotions and ferocious behaviour could leave you red with anger. Feel the intensity of my heat as I spread piquant warmth over every aspect of your life and feel the burn, baby. Oh, yeah. That was very dramatic. So I guess the ferocity is needed if you're trying to escape something or free yourself. It's just that kind of determined energy where it's like, I need to, to get this. I need to get this shit sorted. I need to protect myself, support myself, whoever, and overcome these challenges. But I will leave your reading there. Um, feel free to like, share, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want a personal reading, see the info in the description box. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and take care.